Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your 2022 uh, forecast horoscope predictions. And you guys are going to love this because we're going to be covering the areas of love, uh, wealth, and also we're going to be looking at uh, the unexpected blessings and surprises that are coming up for you guys for 2022. So guys, Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. And if you're interested in signing up for my new free newsletter and or a personal reading with me, you would go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I'm also doing a holiday giveaway, so stick with me till the end and I will give you guys all the details. All right, so Taurus, let's jump right in here. So let's gonna have my Taurus's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Taurus's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Taurus's career and finance for 2022. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look at this. So Taurus, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these Taurus make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. And also, there is a solar eclipse coming up on December 4th. I will be doing a reading for that. And for this particular reading that I'm doing right now, I will be doing a world prediction, considering of everything that's been going on with 2020, 2021. So definitely look out for that reading. That should be coming out soon. And the weeklies are the next reading that's coming out next which will be your day-to-day -day and your overall. And also guys, if you get a chance, check out the lunar eclipse reading because a lunar eclipse reading um, really affects us for, um, for three to six months or up until the next lunar eclipse. And there was a lot of interesting things in that read. So you may wanna check that out. Okay, so we're gonna talk about love, then career and finance. And then we're gonna talk about those special blessings and unexpected surprises that are going to be coming in for 2022. So guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So I feel like, first of all, just picking up on my intuition, I feel like there's a lot of headbutting that's going to be happening here. Um, I feel like there is a lot of opportunities coming in for you guys, Taurus. And I feel like you guys are really focused in on, okay, this is where the direction that I wanna go on. So I feel like you guys are really focused in on, okay, I wanna make sure I'm going in the right direction. And I feel like you guys are feeling good about just taking a risk and just going for it. But on the same token, it's like, you're just like, I, I don't know, are these the, the type of situations or opportunities I wanna put myself into? So I feel like this kind of like this energy of like, what was I thinking kind of energy of taking that risk here, of just going for it, just running for that, just, just taking that leap. Um, let's just keep going further here. I'm gonna get more clarity. All right, so what's gonna my Taurus's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Taurus's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Taurus's career and finance for 2022. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so the world card is showing me that things are gonna come full circle for you, okay? The full card's telling me that there is somebody new coming in, okay? Uh, or for some of you, you're like, all right, you know what? Do I take a risk? Do I take a leap of faith? Or am I gonna miss this opportunity? I don't know. It seems like for me, you guys have the sense of urgency to just go for it. But then after you go for it, it's kind of like this energy of like, why did I do that? That's the kind of energy that I have. It's like, all right, things are coming full circle and you felt good about that and you took that risk and then you were just like, what the heck did I do? So be careful about that energy. Let's, let's go further. Ship card, child card, and cat card. Mm -hmm. There you go, confirming new. Okay, so ship card, world card could be somebody you've connected with, could be from a foreign location or a long distance uh, connection, okay? Um, and we see that some of you even could be changing locations because of this person. You may be taking a risk or a leap of faith here. And then you kind of like looking like, mm, man, maybe I need to use my head, my logic here. Cause I don't know if the situation that I'm getting involved with here is something that I really want. 
Okay, that's kind of where you're gonna end up there with that Four of Cups energy. Let's go further on this Taurus. What's gonna have my Taurus's romantic love life for 2022? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, what is this clarified? We got the star card energy, we got the single and available to pursue, and we got this uncertainty. See, there's that uncertainty about that. That energy of that card was just like, that person was just like, yeah, did I do the right thing? You know, did I, did I, did I miss an opportunity here? Did I miss something? You know, that's kind of the energy I feel like from that card. So we see, yeah, there's something really hopeful here. They're single and available to pursue, but it's like, did I do the right thing? Do I, do I know where I really stand with this person? You know, is this really something that I want? That's kind of the uncertainty I'm getting there. Okay, so then I see you guys, you guys start to go, all right, you look to the past and you're like, all right, I see things from a whole new perspective here. I get new ideas about the situation and I'm gonna have to make a choice, but I feel like this choice is, there's a lot of head bunning going on with this person. Maybe I should just walk away, okay? Tree card energy, star card energy, and the cross card energy. So it's like, all right, I see this from a whole new perspective. I've given this some time to grow. I don't want to be naive about this situation, but I'm still hopeful we can have a positive outcome, but I need to make some kind of decision. But I feel like this kind of like butting of heads between me and this other person, and it's a burden and a challenge, and, I, and I'm having this sense of like, maybe I just don't want to deal with this situation, or maybe I just need to walk away. Okay, let's keep going. We see friends, spiritual, and key card. So I feel like Taurus, it's like, you may talk to friends or speak with friends about the situation to give you a new perspective about this because you're kind of like concerned, like maybe I was being naive about this, you know, maybe, maybe I'm, I need new ideas and new understandings of the situation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Now, I feel like you guys are going to use your intuition on this with the spiritual card or you're going to kind of look at this like, all right, you know what? This is a spiritual lesson here and this opportunity here. I hope this opportunity can be successful. The burden and challenges, should I just walk away? Okay. So far, I can feel like there is a person here, a new person coming in for you guys, okay? But you guys are gonna go back and forth with it about making a choice because you have this uncertainty about where you stand in the connection. So it's kind of like this kind of energy of like, should I stick around? Should I, should I leave this situation? Is there really an opportunity here? I need to talk and consult other people to kind of see like, what do you think about this? What's your opinion on this? Okay, so we got six of pentacles here. Six of Pentacles here. Somebody is trying to be really helpful and giving here, but it's like, are they telling me the truth? Seven of Swords energy. There's some kind of deceptions here with Seven of Swords energy. Like, are they lying to me? You know, is there really an equal give and take? All right, let's keep going. So we see the fish card energy. There's a lot of emotions at play because of the change of locations or improvements and changes in emotions. And then coming down here, we see there's another opportunity coming in, Ace of Wands energy, a potential passionate opportunity coming in through a friend for some of you with a doll card energy or someone who is kind of being friendly with you, flirty with you with a doll card energy. So let's go further. We see there's some kind of socializing and some ladies and challenges, but then things turn in your favor. So we end out the reading. We see with the Wheel of Fortune energy, uh, the energy turning in your favor, okay? So let's go through this. So we see there is a lot of hope here for your romantic love life coming up for 2022. There is somebody who's gonna be single and available to pursue, but there's gonna be this sense of, I don't know where I stand emotionally with them, okay? Is this really a true romantic connection? And then we see, I feel like there's gonna be another situation happening here where there's a friend or something through a friend possibly for some of you, you're gonna have a sense that there's something deeper about it which is going to bring another opportunity in for you guys. And then you're going to have a couple of choices here, right? which is going to bring some delays and challenges, but then we see then things will start to align and you'll kind of have a realization of what you want to do here with the Wheel of Fortune card. Okay. Let's go down another layer here, Taurus. Okay. So we see that there is some movement towards a new situation, but you're kind of like, I don't know if they're being honest with me and I'll give it some time to grow. I'm hopeful that things can work out, 
uh, you know, I'm wishing and hoping things can work out, but there's some burdens and challenges because of emotions that seems to be uncertainty about where you stand. And then we see there's improvements that are going to happen here with a friend or someone who's going to be uh, loyal or wants to be loyal to you, all right, with a doll cart energy. And this is going to be a brand new opportunity. So you're going to have another one up here and then another one down closer towards the end of 2022 that looks a lot better actually because stork and dog are together. So improvements towards loyalty, friendliness, changes, positive changes happening. So going further on this. Things are gonna come full circle and you're gonna take a risk, but then you're gonna question whether or not this is really what you want. And so there's gonna be this new perspective, new ideas, there's something that's out of your wheelhouse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. By the way, the potential signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is the only sign I see as far as people cards go. We see you're gonna make a choice here to kind of walk away from the situation because you have a sense that someone is not being um, balanced in their situation and they're not telling you the truth and through that actually a new opportunity is going to come in that's going to be better for you ace of wands energy okay so let's now move into your career and finance here Taurus okay star card again we see star card is coming out so we see that you're fulfilling your dreams you're very happy you're taking a leadership role here with the king of wands energy Yep, stable situation, good news, strong desires to take a leadership role and to be wise in your decision making. And we see that you have huge luck and happiness here, material abundance coming in with the Sun card energy. Emperor card energy, you know, a lot of signs so far have been getting the Emperor card energy, so I feel like a lot of you guys are starting your own businesses, okay, going out on your own, doing your own thing taking a real strong leadership role when it comes to your career in finance coming up in 2022. Because again, I'm seeing the Emperor card energy is like you're taking control of things. And I feel like there's a lot of confidence around that card. And I feel like, and also the High Priestess is there. It's like there's some kind of uh, opportunity that's being dangled in front of you for a partnership or commitment there with the, the Two of Cups energy. And we see garden card, yep, people involved with this and gaining some kind of knowledge about this conversation. So through this socializing or this networking that's going on here, you're gonna gain some kind of knowledge of and have a conversation about it, about possibly a partnership for some of you or a good choice coming in for you guys. Because the, the high priestess does talk about that something that was secret here about an opportunity or something that's gonna be done beneath the surface there with the high priestess card being there. Uh, and I feel like for some of you, I feel like for some of you, all right, so you know how you have situations where you're working at your corporate job and then uh, you have other people that are soliciting you for other jobs or other things, or other things to, um, you know, they're offering you jobs, job offers. I know I had a lot of those experiences when I was doing accounting work. Um, so I feel like that's exactly what's going on. It's like there's this workplace and there's this place of authority or this boss or someone who's going to take a leadership role here to try to socialize with you, to give you some kind of knowledge about an opportunity. And either some of you may partner up with this person or you're going to have to make a choice to have a conversation about it. And this is going to allow you to explore some new things here with the Page of Wands energy. And Queen of Pentacles is telling me that, yeah, there's a very nurturing and supportive energy here to help you fulfill your desires and get you what you want here with the Nine of Cups energy. And we see the Tower card, which is a corporate environment and making a decision towards a wise choice and a wise decision. And then I hear that motorcycle going off and it's like a quick energy. It's like, yeah, let's go with this. Let's ram at this. Let's do this. Yeah, because you're going to get what you want. A decision will be made here after being patient, after you weigh the options here, okay? So you're gonna explore these things when it comes to this corporate environment or the sense of structure around this decision. It could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, but you're gonna get what you want with that Lily's card energy. It's gonna be a wise decision here. So we see the stable energy and good news about this strong desires to socialize or these people that are involved in the situation, you're gonna gain knowledge about this conversation and there's a sense of organization and structure that you're going to have to make a decision out after a long time or be patient or wise decision about it. Going down further, 
there is something here that's going to fulfill your dreams uh, because of uh, taking charge of this, a boss or a structured situation or something to do with the government. You're going to explore some new things about it. And we see the Sun card. There's good news and happiness and material abundance. High Priest is telling me you're going to gain some kind of knowledge, okay? There's something secret here that will be revealed in a decision from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. We see that you're going to take a leadership role here because of this lack of flexibility and have a conversation about a partnership or choice, which is going to get you exactly what you want with the Nine of Cups energy. Okay, so Taurus, let's now move into the unexpected surprises and blessings that are coming up for you guys. Okay. Let me get three cards for my Tauruses, 2022. Three cards of unexpected surprises coming up for them and three cards of blessings coming up for them for 2022. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Emperor, Eight of Wands, Strength, Six of Cups, Justice, Magician. Okay, well, I see the blessing is going to be a manifestation. All right, so surprises, something to do with an authority figure, government, boss, father figure. Okay, you're going to get some communica communications. Things are going to be lifted or moved or changed here fast. And uh, you're going to have to have that strength and courage and confidence here to stand your ground. Because you're not going to want to deal with this, this communication with this person or this situation here. Okay, so that's the unexpected surprise. The blessing is there are some things coming up pertaining to the past, memories of the past, someone from the past. And justice, you're going to get some kind of justice. And something will be manifested around that with the Magician card energy. There's going to be, you're going to have all the tools you need. You're going to have everything that you want there. And it's going to be aligned in your favor because the Magician card tells me you have the power. The power to make that sense of decision, a balanced decision about the situation pertaining to the past. Okay. Okay. All right, my beautiful Tauruses. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two with your weeklies. It's your day today and your overall. And of course, with the holiday giveaway. Um, it is going to be a mystery box with uh, some of my favorite spiritual products and a free personal reading. And the second person will get a free personal reading. So I'll be picking two people. Um, all you have to do is put blessed and love in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in another day or two.